Hello Substreamers and welcome back to Substream News. I'm going to jump straight into our first story because it is one of the coolest innovations, inventions, progress breakthroughs of this year. 2024 is almost over and I'm really excited about this. China has, I don't even know how to say it, they've created a hypergravity machine that can produce gravity 1,900 times stronger than Earth's gravity. Uh, how on earth that is absolutely mental now the centrifugal hypergravity and interdisciplinary experiment facility which is a really cool acronym is chief um, is a groundbreaking system in hangzhou zhijiang province china uh, let me tell you a bit more about it uh, i'm gonna get in the shade it's really hot so this facility is activated although not yet fully functional uh, when complete it will be the most powerful hypergravity chamber in the world which will help scientists to replicate extreme conditions uh, like outer space or the seabed or even under permafrost which i'd never even considered but apparently a lot to be learned there um, it's also really useful for earthquake proof research, uh, allegedly. So let me tell you about the numbers, okay? So 1G is what we call regular gravity, right? So you may have seen in the movies when uh, the astronauts are re-entering Earth's atmosphere and coming down, they might have uh, 3G or 4G. You might hear 2G, 3G, 4G, right? And you know, the astronauts go in those chambers where they're moving really fast, um, to, to basically replicate the feeling of hypergravity. Well, 1G is normal Earth gravity. 4G is what you might feel re-entering the atmosphere. 1,200G is the best US facility for hypergravity. 1,900G, which I can't even imagine. I, I assume that would just flatten me like a pancake um, is what the Chinese are building. So very interesting tech and uh, I think just incredible what we can do with science isn't it you know it's not all social media stories here on substream news we bring you some real groundbreaking science if you like this channel remember guys you can subscribe it's free uh, and interesting and sometimes a bit dystopian and futuristic but that's how we do it and we keep politics out of the picture Let's move on, find another spot, and record our next story. Now, scientists in the US have broken a rocket record. Hey, did I say scientists? Actually, I meant students. Yes, students at the University of Southern California's Rocket Propulsion Lab, the USCRPL, have designed and built what they call Aftershock 2 and they launched it recently from the Black Rock Desert launch site in Nevada. Now this was on October 20, so forgive me for being a little late to the news, but I thought it was pretty cool. Now it re reached a velocity of 5,283 feet per second, which, you know, that's not slow at all. So uh, that's about 1,610 meters for those of us using the, the metric system. So it also reached Mach 5.5, if you know what that means. Uh, I'm not quite sure personally. So. Why is this significant and why is it record-breaking? It was the first non-government or private company-owned rocket to reach that far into space. It was done by a group of students. That's really impressive. Um, now, of course, there's not many non-government and non-private rocket companies trying to put rockets into space, um, to put it into context, I suppose, but it's still super interesting. And I have a quote here from Yanis Yortsos, who's the Dean of the USC Viterbi School of Engineering. And he says, since its founding 20 years ago, the USC Rocket Propulsion Laboratory has made a reality of the aspiration and visions for space of countless Viterbi undergraduate students across all engineering majors. It is thrilling to see how they have not only shattered their previous student record of reaching the Kármán line in 2019, blah, 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 blah. You get the picture. It's amazing. Everyone's proud of them. Science is doing amazing things. Uh, let's move on to the next story. I think we know enough about this one. Let's go. Now, if hypergravity and rockets are not your cup of tea, perhaps a Terminator dog is. Now, if we go loads of videos back, we covered this story about a, a dog, I suppose, a robotic dog that was fitted with uh, guns and is just really powerful and futuristic and kind of reminds me of a lot of different sci-fi movies. Uh, 
it's a scary one. Now, it's even better or worse, depending on how you like to uh, look at it. But there's a big upgrade from Ghost Robotics uh, V60, and they've made it aquatic capable. So not only can this dog uh, run on land, shoot you, it can also swim and chase you in the water. It was a collaboration between Ghost Robotics and Onyx Industries uh, to create a maritime mobility system for the robotic Terminator dog. So yeah. Are you scared? I'm pretty scared. Uh, I think that's terrifying, but also very cool. Um, unless you're anywhere near it or even in the same continent, then it's scary. Now, ever since Donald Trump was re-elected US president, the stock market has been exploding and the crypto market too. Both are doing very well. Uh, investors would probably say so in most cases. But there's one guy, a Florida man, and you know what that means, who had a different kind of market explosion in mind. So Harun Abdul Malik Yanair uh, was arrested on Wednesday last week after an alleged plot to bomb the New York Stock Exchange. He wanted to, bizarrely, and I don't know how he thought this would accomplish it, reset the US government. What? on earth. Uh, yes, he was charged with attempting to use an improvised explosive device to damage or destroy a building used in interstate or foreign commerce. Um, that's according to the court documents. And the FBI have been tracking this guy since February because he's uh, clearly a bit deranged and he was caught storing bomb schematics in an unlocked um, storage unit in Florida. Now. The FBI have commented, uh, they said they found bomb-making sketches, numerous watches with timers, electronic circuit boards, and other electronics could all be used to make a bomb. Um, so <laughs> this guy didn't help his own cause. He actually kind of made it quite easy to get caught because he made audio recordings and discussed having them sent to NBC News. He also told an undercover agent... I feel like Bin Laden. My God, this guy. I think he might need new role models, uh, especially now that he's going to be looking at the inside of a cell for many, many years. Uh, I, uh, some people just, wow. Let's move on, wow. Um, can we have everybody turn their cameras on and microphones off, please? Uh, you might recognize the sound of those words from your last Zoom or Google Meet. Yes, frustrating, isn't it? When you've been in a, a team meeting and they've made you turn your camera on when you're sitting in your pajamas at home, um, it's, it's not particularly nice sometimes. And a lot of people really just don't feel comfortable having their camera on when they're not actually doing anything or contributing to the meeting. Actually, some people are completely losing the will to live just by being in the meeting. So the last thing they want to do is uh, be seen, probably with an expression on their face of disdain. Fortunately, there is a solution and it's called Pickle. And I came across this recently. It's a tool it's an AI tool where you submit a five minute long training video of yourself and it creates an AI avatar of you. Uh, it takes about 24 hours to produce and well, basically then it's like a video layer that kind of goes over your webcam. Essentially when you join a team meeting, it's, a, it's like a bobbing moving head. It's a video of you, an AI avatar video of you in the meeting, except it's not really you, right? It's gonna be the same clip each time and you don't have to be in the meeting. So if you're too lazy to get out of bed, no problem. You wanna take a meeting from the car or the park? No problem too. Pickle. Now, unfortunately, there's one downside to this story is it's oversubscribed. It's really popular. Um, the demand for this apparently is massive. Uh, it will cost between $300 and $1,150 per year. Um, that's basic, standard and pro versions. There are different versions. Um, but you will have to wait your turn because there's just a big old waiting list right now. Very cool though. Right, let's move on. Do you ever feel fed up sometimes? Like you just wanna pack everything up and move to the other side of the world and start a new life. Um, I've actually done it many times, so I really do feel like that sometimes. 
but I'm not anymore. I'm very happy. Uh, and I would like you to be happy too. Uh, now, this is not an advert, although it's starting to sound like it. It's about Italy's one euro homes. Now, this campaign started a few years ago, and I remember reading extensively into it because I was very interested in the thought of buying a one euro home. Um, you also do need to be able to prove that you have tens of thousands of dollars or euros to renovate these homes because they're not generally in very good condition and they're usually in the middle of nowhere or in villages that have had an exodus of population moving to the cities. But you can still get a home for one euro. Um, now, why is this relevant again? It's because Trump won the election. Now, again, we keep politics out of substream news. So uh, it's actually about Americans who want to leave the US because of Trump's victory. And here's the advert, the, the text from the advert for One Euro Homes that's uh, part of their new campaign. It says, <laughs> I was very tempted to do an Italian accent then. But I'm not going to. Um, are you worn out by, by global politics? Looking to embrace a more balanced lifestyle while securing new opportunities? It's time to start building your European escape in the stunning paradise of Sardinia. Americans will have a fast track procedure, Major Francisco Colombo of the town of Ololai said. We are betting on them to help us revive the village. They are our winning card. Really cool. So basically, the long and short is if you're an American viewer watching, you're not happy in the US and you're thinking of starting a new life, you could go do it in Italy, in Sardinia, on a beautiful Mediterranean island. And the cost of it won't be that high. It sounds pretty doable. Does that sound interesting to you? Um, I'd say go for it. Like I always give that advice to people. If you have the dream and the energy and the money to relocate somewhere that you believe you'll be happier and you'll get more out of life. Ooh, I mean, YOLO, you only live once. Go and do it. Go buy a one euro house in Italy and make your dreams come true. If not Italy, go somewhere else. There is a place for you to be at your happiest if where you are now is not doing it for you. Um, and if you wanna be even happier, scroll down, click subscribe and get a twice a week video from me. I'm Joseph, your presenter. This is Substream News. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. It's a beautiful day. I'm going to go have a walk. Bye bye.